Re re really? Really? Even if I have the Steam version. This game honestly doesn't have a controller support. Is that a fact? Even if it's the Steam. Oh my god. What is this resolution? The hell? The game doesn't su- What is this resolution? It doesn't support 1080? This game doesn't support 1080 resolution? That cannot be. <laughs> what kind of a game doesn't have a 1080p? Oh, this game has mouse sensitivity in it. Holy shit. Isn't there... Oh. Oh, it doesn't support an eddy. Wait, there... There is a scroll down arrow that is hard to see it still. Wait, are you saying that saying that there is a then? The, uh, oh. Oh. That's like a, yeah, that's not my fault. That's the game developer's fault for making it really unclear. Still doesn't fix the problem that the game doesn't let me use controller. to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. All right. Oh, oh, do I need to press connect? 
Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Manually in their carry in for physical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's we wanna be a female. Please log in to access your profile. Uh. Uh, let's call her a, uh... Um... Let's call it Proxy. Fe fem Proxy? Is that, is that a good name, Fem, Fem Proxy? I'm ripping off Fem Steph's name, but. A, a female. Oh, actually, that doesn't. It doesn't fit. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. TD Proxy. There we go. That, that's better. Restart Steam in administration mode to see if that fixed the controller. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Okay, reconstruct. Confirm pre-service history. Uh yeah, proxy. I can do the restarting later after I create the after I create create your character. I mean, so let's select the same thing. Psychological profile. Same things. We had the Earthborn. I think we had the Ruthless. Confirm military specialization. And I think I had the Sentinel. No. What did I have? It doesn't actually have the same option here. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the soldier. Improved health can train in the use of all weapon types. Ability yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Confirm facial identification. Right. Size of a fish? Gear size? Orient orientation of ears, what the f We can have flappy ears.
Food is for losers, there we go. <laughs> Okay, hopefully we can find the same. Oh, the eyebrows. Okay. Why cannot we select it? Oh. We look so much different now. Wait, the nose is fucking weird. Did we select the hair already? Yeah, we did. This is the last thing. There we go. We're ready. Profile reconstruction complete. Identification confirmed. Uh, difficulty. Target assist. Uh, I don't know. Normal guy, I guess. Here we go, guys. Sorry for that. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record for the mess in the family. beginning. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets, learned to look out for herself. She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. She gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, the explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades of the following, these mysterious artifacts revealed slightly new technologies and ability to travel to further stars. The basic of the universe to control the universe. They call it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilization of the galaxy call it the Mass Effect. So humans found something to make them travel further in space. And we're still flat ass. We still have a uh, flat ass. So that thing has to be one of the discoveries, which allows us to travel further. Like further in the base space. Hitting the relay in three, two, one. Whoa. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. 
Uh... I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. Your soldiers act like it. <laughs> Sorry, Commander. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the Seth screen? Yeah, I was thinking more with the same thing. I think it is. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a calm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Because when he speaks, I'm fa having Aye, flashbacks of a, a family guy. Brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> All right. Zero to access Codex, your Galactic Encyclopedia. Wait. Talk to an ally, press E and right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, ma'am, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors, cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks too. Plus there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the Captain? No man. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Okay. So I think Nihilus, whatever, it was the guy with the weird looking hair and he wasn't human. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. 
<laughs> you watch too many spy mates, Jenkins. I was right. The guy was called Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies His across the galaxy, so weird. but also protect them. But how safe is it really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Covert pickup? Wait, who? What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What is that? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Captain Anderson is Keith David. Who is that? And Joker, the pilot of the ship? He's Seth Green. They have really nice voice actors here, I guess. Even though I don't know who the hell is Keith David. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Oh, why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Uh. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Wait, wait. Humans, we weren't even using space travel before we even found the... The long last data cast on Mars? Really? So basically this could be like... The game could be... Focusing like on a uh, current timeline. Like current year right now. If you would just find the freaking data cache and build ships I guess that could travel in space, like far into space. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest... Oh wait, but we don't have any species like that. 
It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds. Spectrus. Before the place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. They vanished? But everyone agrees. Galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Okay. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Uh oh. Get down. out after that no calm traffic at all just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 yeah. status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Wait, that guy's going solo? Nihilus got out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the spectrum, and he wants that beat. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Is there a quick save in the game? F6 Wait, why is it F6? That doesn't make sense. It's supposed to be F5. New trailer for the Star Trek movie? Ooh. What happened by the way? Didn't uh, one of the actors die recently? Did they this place got hit hard? I guess they have finished the filming before he died. Press Q to drop your... Okay. Are those enemies? What are those? His own car was rolled... Oh, yeah. Those things seem to be 
I'm not sure if they're friendly, but they don't actually attack me, so we should be fine. Oops! What is that? I threw something. Shield upgrade. Oh! Jesus. is still too fast. I'm not sure if this doing is the, if this is doing nothing or anything. I reckon it's broken. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Standard sensitivity, yeah, I guess, because nothing changed when I touched the sensitivity. It's still the same. Oh, shit. I have to heal. Also burned our buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Equip your sniper rifle and shoot the gas back creatures ahead. Press and hold spacebar to pause. Sniper rifle? This one? Back to my previous weapon. Wait, I have quick slots also, so how does it? I don't know how it works. What the? F what the hell are they doing? Spike through the body.
Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. Geth? The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Move out! Pressing... Is that L or 1? Opens the equipment screen, which allows you to switch and modify your weapons, armor and other items used by your squad. Let's go to the equipment screen now. Equip the pistol Ashley gave you by clicking the pistol icon. Uh, double click the weapon to equip it. Then click the ammo upgrade slot to install your ammo. The ammo upgrade slot is located above the damage bar in the equipment item section. Double click the weapon. Oh, there we go. So it's equipped now. Uh, oh, these ones. Every weapon has at least one weapon and one ammo upgrade slot. Click the weapon icon to access weapon upgrades for this weapon. Click the bullet icon to access ammo upgrades. So I have high caliber barrel and piercing. Let's put the Oh I can have two of these things here, okay. Click on a talent to spend points and improve that ability. Mouse over the talent for more information. Select each squad member to spend their points. I think I have that on automatic. Maybe I should uh, auto level up, maybe. Yeah, looks good. The beacons at the far end of this trench. of the rock and press press left mouse button to pop up and far from behind lock Got him, man. 
Commander. Okay, we're at the dig site now. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the gas? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Press E when you approach them. Plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Yeah, Paladin, I, I figure I figure the message was for somebody else. I mean for for the Vaz. But I don't think Vaz is here anymore. Tord, nice to have you still here. Impaling victims instead of just shooting. There must be some reason behind it. Classic psychological warfare. They're using terror as a weapon. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard. What are those spy things? They're just for. Are those human? Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Uh, let's roll grenade. Advanced to the central core. Wait, what? Fuck. Oh, this is okay. This is like a mini game. Pfft. You can also write difficult locks by spending Omni Gel. Omni Gel can be acquired from defeating opponent. Yeah, alright. So can I use it now? There we go. Humans, thank the maker. <gasps> Hurry, close the door before they come back. What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, 
Before the attack? That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... Unstable. Unstable? Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. <clears throat> I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I gonna shut him up. <laughs> uh. Williams. Take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Okay, uh, where do we go now? Somebody's gonna pay for this. Let's get the bastards. Eden Prime will never be the same again. Hmm. Oh, we go that way. Why isn't he shooting? Sarah. Who? Nice. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. It's a trap. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <laughs> Left click and hold on power icon. Drag the power to the quick slot bar and release the mouse button. Like this? What the fuck? Kill it!
Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only... It was coming from inside your own head. What? I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. Uh, what? Um. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing Told you I'm going to sleep. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Uh, Tord, see, sleep well, and uh, see you maybe, maybe later today. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. Probably get more use out of it than we will. I don't need that pistol. This should help. Let's move out. Good luck. Oops. Filter tab tabs to switch between item types. Select an item from the list of available models. Omni gel button to permanently convert the selected item into Omni gel. Click on a equipped items upgrade slot to select an upgrade. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So this one is actually... Yes. There we go, okay. So these two weapons, they're actually shittier than my current one, so I can just turn them into gel. Haha, I'm getting hang, hang of this game now. These weapons are the are the same, yeah. Okay. Turn them into gel. Uh, these runs are coated with the highly toxic compound, toxic damage. Sniper rifle doesn't actually do that much of a damage. Ooh, 
wait, what is this? An armor. Ah, okay. This one has a bit of shield, but damage protection is lower. But has lots of more shield. Yeah, let's have that one. And I want to have upgrades on my, I mean, mods and the... There we go. I think the mods are in permanent, so I can just have all of them, I guess. There we go. Okay. Ready. crates wait don't don't shoot I'm one of you I'm human what are you doing sneaking around back there I am sorry I was hiding from those creatures my name's pal I saw what happened to that Turian the other one shot him what the hell are you talking about there were two Turians here your friend and another one he called Saren I think they knew each other your friends seem to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? Ha ha ha! Oh, lucky break. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. <laughs> Press the up arrow to... Ah. shooting Click and rotate. Okay, yeah. Uh, click cadence, throw power, release space to. Okay, what can I use? Shield boost. That guy has nothing. Perfect.
This is so shaky. Wait. Oh, there we go. Use the tactical hard to issue orders and command squad to use powers and uh, switch weapons. Wait, do we have friendly down? Yeah, friendly down. How do I help him? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, I died. Shit. So you can die in this game. Critical mission failure. Oh shit, I think I'm critical. Where's that throw? Uh, there we go. How do I heal myself? I forgot. How do we heal? Restore portion decent of your shield even if you're Wait, how do I Navigation weapons First aid F How do I heal my friend? Oh shit, I'm fatigued. No! I think that's the last of them. Wait, save failed? Think we got him, Commander. There we go. There has to be some sort of a uh, combat heal. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here.
Saren! Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Oh fuck, there's a time limit? Shit. Wait, what was that? Ah, oh, never mind. Oh, taking damage. Four minutes, disarm two more. The music is, yeah, it's old school, but it's good. It's good. It's definitely good. Uh, what can I use? Long burst of accurate assault rifle, yeah. What the fuck? Oh, you're friendly. What the? F <laughs> I'm stupid. Oh, fuck. Wait, where's the bombs? Where's the bombs? Hopefully I didn't miss any of the bombs. Ah, uh, throw. What about the bombs? Oh, I think I can see them on uh, on the minimap, no? Hi Ben Havoc, welcome guys! Yeah, Proxy, it wasn't the first time I'm, I'm, I was shooting a uh, friendlies. <laughs> Oh fuck, I missed two bombs. Fuck. Is it too late? Two bombs in two minutes? Yeah, no biggie. No biggie. The last one. I think the last one was somewhere here. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that I can actually look at the minimap. Where the fuck are you? Oh! Is it this thing? No! Shit! I think it's here. If it's not here... Am I faster if I have my... weapon run? I got it. It's not like a MacGyver that I disarmed on the last second, but... <laughs> I got it. <laughs> 